and welcome to my channel and I am Stephanie and this is the Sabathon EBR. Mine. Mine. Right here. If you've been watching my channel at all, you know that I don't usually do TBRs. But in the joys of rocking out on a Friday and wearing this awesome new t-shirt, right? Um... I decided to do my TBR. So I have my little, what I have left of the Moscato from the other day, from last weekend. I'm gonna finish that, bot, finish that bottle off right here and tell you guys what I am going to be reading because I finished a cry worthy book today and bald at work and things like that. All kinds of tears and crying in my corner and my cubicle. And it definitely could have been put on this list, so I figured I'd tell you guys what I'm going to be trying to read next week. So Sabathon is being held May the 21st through the 27th. You guys are getting this TBR a couple days before it. And the hosts for Sabathon are Samantha Reading, My Bookshelf, Blonde with a Book, September Issue, Becca and the Books, and Beasley. There are four categories and a group read. And we're going to go through, I think I picked two books for each category. So here are the categories and here are the books that I'm going to be trying to read for them. First category is read a book on my TBR or that has been on my TBR and I've held off reading it because I know it's going to be emotional. So my first pick to try and read is Artisan by Mia Asher. And I hope to be listening to that on audiobook. I can't even remember when I put this on, I know I probably put it on back in the day, back when I first started reading books and stuff like that. So I'm pretty sure I've heard that this is an emotional book. And the second book in that category is The Paper Swan by Leah Atara. I think that's how you pronounce her last name. But this is another book that's been on my TBR that I've heard is going to make me emotional and, you know, what have you. Second category is to read a book that will make me happy cry and I received an arc of One Baby Daddy by Megan Quinn although it is already released I did receive it early but I wanted to hold off and read it for this because Megan Quinn has not done me wrong when it comes to giving me happy and then making me cry at the same time. The next book that I picked for that category is A Waking Up in Vegas by Sarah King and she just recently released this on Audible and I can't wait to listen to it because it fits into so many categories for this month, for Genrethon, for Sabathon, and hopefully it's a happy cry, judging by the title. Next category is to read a book that destroys me, or excuse me, reread a book that destroys me. And I was recently gifted see through heart by amy knight on audible and i can't wait to listen to that book because when i read that book two years ago or a year ago i think it was a year ago it ripped my heart out so i can't wait to get to this one and really listen to that one also i will be re-listening or rereading listening to Reasons to Breathe by Rebecca Donovan and I know when I initially read this book it was in ebook form and to listen to it on Audible I hope I feel the same emotions which is probably a good thing unless you got a bad narrator but we will see but those are the two books that I'm going to be rereading that I've already read. The next category is to read a book under 300 pages. So in my book, 300 pages is roughly six hours, six or seven hours, I believe. It might be a little more than that, but that is the category I'm also going to put it on. I also looked both of these books up to find out if they are under 300 pages, if I was to read them in physical form, and they are. The first book is Full Tilt by Emma Scott and the second book is Good Boy by Serena Bowen and L. Kennedy. So I'm really excited to read all the books that I just listed. The group read is to read The Astonishing Color of After by Emily X.R. 
pan. I won't be participating in that challenge because I don't have that book and I don't plan on getting it. So that is my TBR for Sabathon. Hopefully you guys join. If you do, let me know down in the comments so we can, you know, commiserate our crying together. I will be over on Twitter and over on doing Instagram stories throughout the week next week, showing you guys how emotional I get with these books and how I feel. Also, probably other books that I'll be reading as well. So definitely check out my Instagram if you haven't checked me out on either Instagram or Twitter, please do, because I will be posting all week long there. I'm going to do my best, try my best. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, there is a feedback form down in the description box so you guys can help me improve my channel. Thank you for watching and we will see you guys later.